just starting up a game with a friend of mine. He's playing Hoena and Sola. I'm playing Dragon Holt and Fizzy. Uh, this is his first real deck that he's built, and I am working on mine. Uh, the, my deck is a counter for Sophia, and uh, we'll just we'll just kind of we're just trying to kind of get it there. So I'm going to drop these guys back. All right, so we're all mulliganed up. I've got a pretty good start. Uh, I always like to go ahead and get my Scarlet Egg out as quick as possible. Gives me a nice little guardian, and uh, I can do some fun things with Dragonic Zone. So I'll do that and pass. Let's see what Joshua's got here. Drops a Feld Golem number two, that's always pretty good. So he gets a counter for Hoena. So Hoena, just to refresh my memory, uh, whenever he destroys a tower or unit, gets a counter and can remove three to put a Golem token into play. All right, so I will draw, untap, and shard. And I got Cryptic Crystal. When it arrives, I get to look at the top two cards of my deck and put them back in any order. So we got that down. Um, I pretty much want to get Dragonic Zone down as quickly as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and tap two and play that. And we will pass. So Dragonic Zone uh, allows me to give a target unit plus 1000. It can be activated on my opponent's turn and I've got a Guardian Egg out here. So at any point in time I can boost it up to 1500 if I wanted. Um, which would give me a pretty nice guardian to block his uh, lower level stuff. So he does get his hollowed crystal out, which means that he can destroy my. Uh, or no, no, no! Hollowed crystal gives you a uh, plus five hundred on your guardian, so that's not bad. The uh, wind one zephyr crystal is what destroys my augments. That would have been a sad day indeed. Alright, so he's paying two for Savage Mystic. Uh, it's a thousand points once per turn when you cast a spell, he can deal a thousand. Nice. Alright, so he can always smack a tower here to kind of face check and see where things are. So in response, I will tap Dragonic Zone to give a thousand here, and then I will guard. All right, he passes, so I get to draw, untap, and shard. Cryptic Crystal. Let's me search my top two. Okay, so that one will go on the bottom. This one will go on the top. They do get put, uh, yeah, put back in any order. Come on. That was harder than it needed to be. Okay, uh, so for my actions. Um, I kind of want to leave one crystal open for my effect. So I think I'm going to tap one to play a deranged dragon. Tap one to play a deranged dragon. And then effect to search my deck for a two cost, which will be my juvenile. I will then Dragonic Zone into Juvenile and target Tower with Juvenile. Uh, 
And we hit his Tower of Darkness, so he gets to discard a card from me. He's got some pretty good choices here. I'd probably get rid of the Cryptic Deflection if I were him. I'll get rid of a booster. It's not a bad choice either, but Cryptic Deflection can help me a lot. And I will pass, because the other two have Summoning Sickness. Alright, so he plays Field Golem number two, so he can get another uh, counter on Hoina. Alright, so he's going to use Savage Mystic, targeting Tower. He hits my 1500 uh, Tower of Light, so no destruction. That sentence was all kinds of messed up. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. He hit my Tower of Light, so nothing dies, because it's got 500 left. He passes and uses that ability. Uh, as a response, I'll use Draco Halt. Or Dragon Halt? Yeah, Dragon Halt. To discard and search. For one of my four costs. I might go for Vengeful Dragon here. I don't think I actually have a 4 cost. So yeah, I think I'm going to go for Vengeful. Then I will untap. Alright, so I am going to target tower. Target attacking unit gets minus 1000, so it gets destroyed. That was pretty good. And then he's got this one, so we can deal another 1000. Pretty good. So I will target tower. And he will go ahead and Soul Burst to get his Guardian. Alright, so they smack. And now I will play this guy for three, since dragons were destroyed this turn. And then I will pass. Alright, so he's looking really good right now. He's got uh, two people that can destroy stuff on my end. I don't have any way to guard against it, but I can. Uh, but he can flip over a bad tower, which will kind of keep me in the lead. I should have Dragonic zoned the juvenile. Would have destroyed both, but that's on me. Alright, going for a big boy. We got Soul Transfer. Destroyed target unit, and if you do, you can put into play a unit from your discard zone whose cost is lower than the destroyed unit. Alright, so he's going to deal a thousand and destroy it. For his second felt golem. Okay, so he's up to three, so he can get another token. Or I guess he can get a token. Alright, so now, we're, now is where he attacks and hits the uh, wind. He 
He hits here for the fire tower to put it at 500. All right, he's going to target tower. And he gets tower of air. So it's destroyed. For to remove that one. Alright, so Wind Tower got rid of both of his tokens. And he passes. So I will draw into my 6 drop. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's better than nothing. Um, so I need to shard. Hmm. I think I'm going to shard drain. Put a shard back on the bottom and draw a card. And into another 6 drop. Rip. Then I will pay 4 for Transfiguration Master. Alright, so when Transfiguration when Transfiguration Master arrives, I get to expel target unit, and if I do roll a die and give him a token based on what I roll. Uh, he, let's see, if the result is even, he gets a hulking mech. If it's an odd, he gets the other one. And he got an even. Rip me. Alright, that's my turn. And because of Shard Drained, I won't be able to play either of these six costs in my hand next turn, unfortunately. So I'm just not having a good time. I really need to draw into some lower cost stuff. So he spins five, means a big old boy is coming down. What do you got? Golem of Arrogance. If you control another Golem unit, your opponent sacrifices a unit. Then if they have more cards in their hand than you, they discard one card. Okay, so he gets to destroy up to two towers this turn if he wants. He can use this guy to hit either dark or water, but instead he's going to use that guy to hit water. It still works. No, 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 it doesn't. Alright, so he's going to use his golems to bounce or to reveal both of my towers. And they're both at 1,000 points. Alright, he's going to hit my Tower of Water and give me two cards. There's some stuff. And he passes. So we get to draw. Untap. Yeah, here's all that stuff that I needed a few turns ago. And Crystal. So I'm back up to five. I can get a few units down, but I think it's important that I clear some of this big stuff off of his board. So I can do this and this, this turn. So I think that's what we'll do. I'm going to tap four for Storm Knight. 
use the ability to remove that. Then I will tap one and play me a nice big old egg. And then I'll pass. Alright, let's see what he's got in store for me this turn. So we're paying three, and we're going to get Hellish Guard Hound. Arrive target unit cannot attack next turn. Okay. And just as a reminder, I'm going to drop this there. And then we're going to get the Golem of Jealousy out. Alright, so he's going to use his golem, and he's going to attack my dark tower. Uh, I think I'm going to let him have it, so I get to take a look at his hand. Alright, what do we have here? We got that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. That one. We're going to get rid of the... Uh, Strike of the Golems. I don't need him building any more board state. Alright, so he passes. I get a draw. Nice. That'll buy me some time. Alright, so untap. Shard. This guy can attack. Felt Golem. He doesn't have any Guardians. No, he does have a Guardian. He has this guy. That's unfortunate. Um, I could drop Twilight Knight, destroy that guy, but then he's got a lot of stuff coming at me next turn. I've got to clear his board, like right now. So, yeah, I think we do it. And I should have waited for his response before I put my, uh, yep, all of them, before I put my uh, units on the bottom. That was my mistake, but it doesn't look like he had a response, so. So he is unfortunately going to be at 7 shards, and he's got a couple of heavy hitters in his hand. I just need enough time to build up my board state. Unfortunately for me, I've still got to go through his big towers, so... Oh, even once I build up my board state, things are going to get destroyed and bounce to my hand. He does get Golem of Jealousy down, and a second Golem of Jealousy. Let's see if that card he drew is anything good. Unfortunately, neither of them have Guardian. And he will pass. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to do, so draw, untap, and shard. Alright, so the unfortunate news is that he can really hurt me next turn. I can go ahead and get Exploding Dragon down. 
Uh, I could power Dragonic Destroyer out and try and go for something else with my uh, Dragon Halt. But honestly, I think if I just get Exploding Dragon down, then I will be in a good place with this next turn because I can pop him up to a 2500. And I will pass. The only bad thing is, <laughs> like, I can just hit the fire tower and just lose it. Oh man, this is a really close game, far closer than I want it to be. So if he hits my Tower of Light, it'll take both of his current units on the board and give me a Guardian, uh, which I'll play my Twilight Knight. Uh, if he goes after my Fire Tower, then I get to destroy one of his Golems, and then I'll still be in an okay position. Uh, if he tries to destroy my Exploding Dragon with any abilities, I've got my Cryptic Deflection. Look at your opponent's hand, select one card. Your opponent discards that card. If you control two or more other golems, select two cards instead. That hurts a little bit. That hurts a lot of bit, actually. Alright, he'll get rid of my two units. And let me keep these guys. Alright, so he's probably going to go after a tower. If I had to assume, he would go after my light tower here. Okay. Which gets me a token. Alright, so I'll draw. That is not something stupidly big, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so shard drain to draw a card, and then soul burst to draw a card. All right, so it's one fifteen hundred. Uh, if I give it plus 2,000, that's 3,500. That's still not enough to Mech Dragon's Flame, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. I've still got 3, 6, 7. So, target tower. And I hit the wind, so it's, or the water, so it's not destroyed. Tower. I hit his light. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got to use all but one here, and I will chronostasis. And buy myself one more turn. Oh man, this is getting hairy. I'm. Yeah, so I've still got to fight through both his wind and his fire. Uh, wind will be less impactful now because I've got so much uh, mana, but... It'll still be hard to fight through. I think he's pretty much got this one in the bag.
Alright, here's hoping that the three cards in his hand aren't anything good. Oh, I didn't catch it, but he did use his uh, tokens to get that on the board. Okay, so we've got a protection token on this guy. So he can swing at my fire tower and I'd have to blow up his big guy. And then he's only got to make one more attack through. Let's see, how does this work? If a unit with protection counter would be destroyed, remove all damage and a protection counter from it instead. So I don't think expel. Uh, or I don't think protection counters stop expel. Alright, so he'll pass. Uh, Alright, let's see. I do have one mana open. So I'm going to draw one. Ability. Get rid of an exploding dragon. Search for one of my big boys. I think I've still got... Uh, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I will be at 8 once I shard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Quickness, arrive, expel a target unit if you do it to 2,000. Yes. Alright. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Alright, so I can't do Bahamut because it has to be non-legendary. Uh, so, do I still have one of my 6 costs? No, all of my six costs are gone, so I can get my five cost. Yeah, so let's do it. Oh, nope, wrong one. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Unfortunately, there's not a destroyed fire tower yet, so he does not get his ability. Then I will untap and shard. And with my shard, I get to search. Uh, put this guy on the bottom every time. Okay. So now, what do we have? Nothing that really helps me, unfortunately. I can get this guy down. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can pump him up to 4,000, which gets rid of him. Uh, unfortunately, he still attacks. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we're going to drop this guy for five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, tap Dragonic Zone to put him into 4,000. And then I will pay 2 for Mech Dragon's Flame onto the sky. And we will remove Gigath from the game. I'm left with one. Oh, I needed to shuffle, by the way, from when I searched. And pass. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Uh, I guess I probably should have exiled here, because that would get rid of the protection counter, and then I could just use my fire tower to explode Gigath. Alright, so he's targeting my tower, and we will hit there, which will remove his protection counter. And let's see if he has anything with quickness in his hand. Dropping three. 
units lose target unit loses all abilities. No one really has any abilities. He's just getting stuff out there. Arrives still 500 target unit, so this will be down to 2500. He's just playing everything that he can. Boy, if I draw into Bahamut, please, please draw into Bahamut. Top deck, top deck, baby, let's do it. All right. Uh, <laughs> oof. All right. So draw. Did not draw into him. Rest in peace. Untap. All right. Do I have any way to stop all of his units? I don't think so. Maybe? That's 3,000. Yeah, I can do that. Alright, so we're gonna tap, discard Exploding Dragon, search my deck for... No, I don't have any of him. God dang it. For this guy... One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, we paid one, one, two, three, four, five. I have two left. Destroy target unit. We will destroy this guy. Attack target unit. Destroy attacking unit. And that is going to be game. Alright, so yeah, I pass, he does whatever he wants, and then he just attacks me directly for game. So there you go. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the link below to join our Jackman Games Discord channel, where you can be a part of this amazing community. If you'd like to support Jackman Games, click the link below to check out our Patreon. See you guys there.